807 First Street Southeast. I request the mayor, council, city attorney, city administrator, uh, finance officer rather, find out the total dollar amount of city staff time and supplies to snowplow, maintain, repair, and sweep the Rozier Drive while it was a privately owned road. City taxpayers are not responsible for maintaining private roads. The former owners, Mike Coro and Jerry Thomas, need to pay all of that money back to the city taxpayers. They received a service they were not entitled to for a number of years. Perhaps the city staff who authorized this illegal private road maintenance on the taxpayer's nickel should be made to pay some of that money back. I believe that person was the former public works director and co-city administrator Jerry Lochner. This is the perfect example of grounds for taxpayer lawsuits. It is this council's job, its fiduciary responsibility, to ensure this money is paid back. This is also an egregious violation of the state auditor's policy that all public expenditures must have a public purpose. If this body does not rectify this, I will be filing a complaint on behalf of myself and other taxpayers with the State Aud Auditor's Office by the end of June. You have again failed miserably in fulfilling your own mission statement. First, items. Excellence and quality in the delivery of municipal services. Fiscal responsibility with ethics and integrity. When will the fiasco end? There are a number of, number of people still on the council that have been here for a number of years and should have been aware of this. It is this council's job and the mayor to supervise city staff. I'd like to remind this council that Julian Assange probably said it best. It is part of the calculation of power to project power. And one of the ways to project power is to show that you are unaccountable, so don't try to touch us. Warren Buffett has also said, crony capitalism is a term describing a, an economy in which success in business depends on close relationships between business people and government officials. It may be exhibited by favoritism in the distribution of legal permits, government grants, special tax breaks, or other forms. Crony capitalism is believed to arise when political cronyism spills over into the business world self-serving friendships and family ties between businessmen and government influence <coughs> excuse me, the economy and society to the extent that it corrupts public serving, economic, and political ideals. 